Thursday morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Lauren Wadsworth with a special Thursday edition of your KWHS News. Here's the latest news from the Counseling Center. The college visit lineup continues this week with the following school visits. Mark your calendars to see Fort Hayes State next week on Tuesday, February 13th. Colorado Mesa will be here on Valentine's Day and UCCS plans to be here on Thursday, February 15th. The Adams State reps would love to chat with you on Thursday, February 22nd. Then visit with the reps from Lamar Community College on Friday, February 23rd. On Monday, February 26th, the reps from Barbizon Modeling and Acting School will be in the Lower Commons during lunch to tell you about their school programs. And closing out February visits will be the reps from CU Denver on the 28th. For those of you planning to attend at Pikes Peak Community College in the fall, stop by the Counseling Center to sign up for PPCC's application day on Thursday, February 15th, 2018. The PPCC reps will be here to help you fill out your application. They'll be back on Wednesday, April 11th to help you register for classes. One more important note for seniors, the Fountain Valley Scholarship deadline has been extended to February 23rd. Access the application online and submit it to Miss Abeta in the Counseling Center no later than February 23rd. Lastly, for seniors, the Senior Panoramic has been rescheduled for next week on Tuesday at 7 a.m. in Bowers Gym. This means you will still have time to buy your senior shirt. Get yours in the Counseling Center for $15. Also, remember to get your photos to Kiri County. Please make sure your photos are of seniors only. Credit recovery registration is now open and the spring session starts on Monday, February 12th. To register, go to the district programs page on the WSD3.org site. Select high school credit recovery and get started recovering those credits. Be sure to attend the mandatory orientation on Monday, February 12th at 3.30 p.m. in the cafeteria where you will meet your instructor and receive your access codes for the pretest. If you cannot attend this orientation, you cannot start your session courses. Please see Ms. Dykus for information. Coming up, we're checking in with Miss Betsy in the cafeteria for today's lunch menu. Happy Thursday, everybody! Hello! We're here to tell you what's for lunch in the next couple of days. Thursday, Super Bowl champion, Philadelphia Steak and Cheese. <laughs> I know you'll enjoy that. And on Monday, there's a chicken sandwich. And Tuesday, we're having a beef, bean, and cheese burrito. Homemade. Thanks, and have a great day. Adios. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, remember to add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. When we come back, we'll have club news and fundraisers. But first, we're throwing it to Jeremiah Jones with our Gladiator Sports Update. Happy Thursday morning, Glads. I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Spring sports will start practices at the end of the month, and you will need to pick up a yellow card to play. Cards will be available in the main office on Monday, February 12th. Remember, you need to have a current physical on file and a yellow card to participate. Glads, the jazz band is looking for a few good bass and electric guitar players for next year. If you have the skills, please see Mr. King in the band room for audition information. Our forensics team is hosting a national qualifying congress meet this weekend right here at WHS. The team has been working very hard to prepare for this meet and we wish them the best of luck. Team members, remember you have a team picture today during advisory in room 210. Now hear this, NGRTC cadets, outside guest forms for the military ball are now available in the main office. The deadline to return them is March 1st Get yours early to ensure your date can attend the ball. In wrestling news, six WHS grapplers placed in their respective weight classes at the league meet over the weekend. Trent Gutierrez and Cody Scholl both placed fourth, while AJ Mota, Joquez Addison, and Ben Long all finished third. And the big daddy of them all was Nathan Daniel who was the league champion in the 195 pound weight class. Way to go guys! Our wrestlers head to regionals in Golden, Colorado this weekend. We wish them good luck and great results. In swimming news, the Mixed Mesa and WHS relay team of Caitlin Anderson, Lindsay Gaddy, Allison Canada, and Vanessa Nunn clocked the fastest times in the race by one of our teams in six years, missing the state qualifying cutoff time by a mere 0.29 seconds. All these ladies will be returning next year and will be swimming with 
a vengeance, so teams better watch out. Our Grizzly Leader swim team is taking one swimmer to state this weekend. Mesa swimmer Vanessa Nunn will be swimming the 200 and 500 freestyle races for the top hardware. Best of luck to Vanessa this weekend. Hey Glads, yesterday afternoon we witnessed five student athletes sign their national letters of intent to play football at various colleges after graduation. If you missed it, please join us in congratulating TJ Davis, who will be attending the University of Nebraska Kearney, Myrik Goodwin, who will be attending Sterling College, Xavier Perkins, and Isaac Price, who will both attend Hastings College, and Sam Reed, who will be attending Shadron State. Make us proud, gentlemen. And finally, our basketball teams took on the Woodland Park Panthers on Monday night and tamed the Panthers with ease. Our ladies schooled the Cats at home with a score of 68 to 26. Our Glads edged out the Panthers with a score of 60 to 56, bumping up their streak to nine consecutive wins. Both teams also play the Mitchell Marauders on Wednesday night, and here are the results. The ladies handed the Marauders a loss with this score, while the men added another win to their streak with this score. Both teams take on the Harrison Panthers tomorrow night. The ladies tip off at 7 p.m. in Bowers Gym, while the men's team travels just down the road and also tip off at 7 p.m. That's it for our special Thursday edition of Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to all our teams this weekend. Enjoy the day off tomorrow. I'm Jeremiah Jones. Now back to you, Moose and Lauren. Thanks, Jeremiah. If you are having issues with a fellow student, you should try to resolve it with the help of a peer mediator. Watch this short video about how peer mediators help us and where we can go to get that started with that help. Hey, Elisa, did you hear what Amber said about us and the cheer routine at the outdoor assembly? Yeah, she was being really rude. She said that we suck. She even said that they should have dropped me on the head. I'm going to go roast her on Snapchat. Hey, guys, I know a roast session can be fun, but there's better ways to handle the situation. Yeah, I heard about peer mediation. Maybe we should go try it. If you have a conflict with a peer and would like to resolve the issue, please contact Ms. Hines or Mr. Munoz. They can then set up the mediation. Students may also have a classroom teacher help set up on Google Drive. Thanks, ladies. That's great advice. Student Union is open again in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. Be sure to have your sticker in your ID. The lost and found bin in the business office is growing. Please come back to see if any of these items are yours. Any items not claimed will be donated. Any student interested in competing in the Xi Pi annual All-City High School Step, Dance, and Talent Hunt, please see Mr. Washington in room 115 for details and entry information. They welcome individual and group dancers, musicians, vocalists, and thespians. The talent showcase will be on March 3rd at Pikes Peak Community College. Cash prizes will be awarded for the first, second, and third places. Students and teachers, golden tickets are coming soon. Teachers, remember to hand out your golden ticket to that one student among all your students who deserve it. Students, if you get a golden ticket, remember to put it in one of the boxes for your chance to win some very cool prizes. Prizes will be drawn at the assembly on February 27th. Attention NJROTC cadets, the military ball is right around the corner. As we get more news, we'll keep you in the loop. For now, ladies, you can start scheduling those appointments to check out the dresses in Becca's closet. We heard they just got some new inventory. See Ms. HK in the library or Ms. Molina in room 111 to schedule those appointments. Remember, the dresses are yours to keep. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and if you need a gift for your honey or BFF, Freshman Council has you covered. Freshman Council started selling candy grams yesterday and will take orders until Tuesday the 13th. Candy grams are just $1 and will be delivered to your special someone first hour on Valentine's Day. If you would prefer something a little different for your sweetie, the Freshman Council will also have a cakewalk on Valentine's Day at lunch in the small gym. It's only 25 cents to play, and you might walk away with a tasty treat for your boo. Come check it out. Teachers and staff, the purple toilet is back. First, you should know this is a part of the Student Cabinet Pennies for Puppies fundraiser and all money collected goes to the Humane Society. Here's how it works. When the toilet lands in your room or office, you are stuck with it unless you pay to have it removed. If the toilet came from someone else's room or office to you, you have to raise more money than the teacher or staff member who had it before you raised. For example, if the teacher before you raised 517, you have to raise 518 to have the toilet moved from your location. Student Cabinet members will come Come around after each class period to see if the toilet needs to be moved, so please do not move it yourself or have students move it. They will also collect any money you have raised for this movement. Thanks in advance for your participation and good luck raising money for the puppies. And finally, the library is having another contest this month, celebrating everyday heroes. Check out a book this month and be entered to win prizes. Don't delay, check out a book today! The library would also like to remind everyone to return any overdue materials you may have hiding in your locker, car, or under your bed. Also, this is a good time to pay 
pay any late fines so they don't have to show up on your IC account. That's all for our news today. Have a great weekend. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Lauren Wadsworth. Remember, tomorrow is a student day off. Sorry, teachers. You still have to be here.